Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station. Last episode was a little boring, so hopefully this one's a little more exciting. I did a lot more off-screen, and we're going to deny this guy here. Did a lot more off-screen, so let's, uh, first floor, really nothing has changed. Second floor, I moved our refinery and smelters over here, and I also added the ore detector. So that shows us on the um, meteors, asteroids outside our ship, the percent concentration of each material in there. So that's a, a little change down there. On the main floor, we made a better dining room over here. I moved all the botany stuff into this hallway, so there is six hydroponics for fruits, five for vegetables, and then I put one of the medical plants there as well. I moved our comms relay down here for reasons that we will see later in this episode. And we also added some more waste ejectors. And as you can see, now we have these massive ships showing up, the albatross, which is what we are current, or the condor, excuse me, which is what we are currently researching. researching. I finished researching the albatross off screen. And then on this floor, I went ahead and finished pimping out the rest of the bedrooms. All of them have shag carpet now. Uh, Got to finish this one here, but they are all ready to go for our meeples. And then I went ahead and added a fifth floor, and we'll also be working on that in a few minutes. So hang out. Let's uh, play a little bit of meeple station and keep growing this station. Our objective is still to continue... Uh, exploring the Irmos system, but I want to go ahead and build, and I'm quite excited to build these. The, where are they at? Bum, ba, da, ba, the large turrets. Um, so this allows us to defend ourselves from enemy vehicles, and we'll have to attach advanced electricity to these large turrets. So my plan is to put one on the outside of each. Hmm, how does this work? Do I have to spin this like that? There we go. So I want to put one on the end of each of the bedrooms. So we're going to plop one there. And then we're going to plop one there. And then we're going to plop one there. And we're going to have to wait for our advanced electronics to build up a little bit. That's okay. So we'll need to start running our advanced electricity up here. So let's go to advanced electricity. Click on that. And it takes one graphene. And we're going to have to run it quite a ways. So let's run it to the L or the um, ladder shaft here and up this floor and now onto this floor. And then let's go ahead and get it into the middle of the room and then run it all the way down there and then run it all the way down there. Make sure we get those built all the way down there. And then lastly, Eventually, oops, not enough resources. Uh, who is this? Janitor, doctor, and we're going to deny him again. All right, so it's going to take us a little bit to make sure we get all this up and ready to go. So we'll let our uh, hacksaw right there. He's going to do a lot of that building for us. And then the other meeple that is our engineer. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Hacksaw and loophole. Um, so those guys will continue to build all this. As you can see, here is our... Uh, first uh, exterior gun um, to defend our little meeple station here as we grow. I also did a lot of exploring of the map. I explored everything other than this planet here because there's this interesting object floating around here and we will certainly be exploring that here in a few minutes but I want to make sure we got all of our weapons online because I'd imagine there's going to be a counter attack when we do finish that. So it looks like they are building that quite fast so let's go back to the advanced electricity we can't quite lay the rest of that down let's see if we can go ahead and plan our last large turret which we can so let's put that there so that gives us four large turrets which i'm hoping is enough to protect our station here and it looks like one of them is already online so that's pretty neat let's take a peek at that and there it is so that is the first one ready to go and we just have to hook the other ones up and build the last one here. As always, down below, don't forget to comment what you like about Meeple Station, how your station is going. You know, if you've had any embarrassing fails, I have certainly had to redo a couple things. But let me know how it's going for you on your station. And as always, 
Uh, still looking for feedback on video quality, audio quality, commentary quality as I learn and grow and become a better content creator. So please, please, please don't forget to comment down below. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. All right, so let's go see what the VAS has to trade. We are doing good on all those resources. Biomass, we can sell some of our biomass. Let's go ahead and sell off a little fruit. We'll buy some fish, buy their lavish meals. And then I think that's good. Let's see how we're doing on storage. 10,000 to 14,000. So eh, 11,000 to 14 and a half thousand. So we're in pretty good shape there. Cobalt, we only, ooh, we only got 48 pieces made. So we're at least starting to produce some of it. That is good to see. I'm going to go ahead and suspend our titanium production because um, I'd like to start seeing them making cobalt and super alloy. So super alloy is another thing we researched off screen. Uh, no clue what it's going to be used for, but I'm assuming we'll use it at some point. And as you can see, it takes one aluminum ore, one iron, uh, one titanium, and one cobalt ore. So there's quite a bit, and we're out of titanium ore, so we'll need to make sure we start uh, mining more titanium ore or uh, maybe buy some on the next trade run. Uh, all right, so it looks like all of our guns are in place. Let's go ahead and plug in this last one. And do, 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 not enough resources. So we're just waiting on that last of the graphene to be made. Let me make sure we don't have it suspended or anything. We don't, so they'll have to make some more for us. I think this is pickle and pickaxe. Deny that. And then let's see where is titanium ore. We will buy all their titanium ore they have. So that will start to help us there. Uh, let's go ahead and buy their carbon. And diamonds are pretty cheap. We'll buy all their diamonds. Buy their lavish meals. And we will sell them some fruit. And sell them some biomass. And that will be it. Thank you, Pickle and Pickaxe. The other thing we need to look into building here soon is I got the Thorium Rich and Richer uh, research. So it takes 10 titanium, 5 cobalt, and five elect advanced electronics. Um, so let's go ahead and put that. Hmm, where do we want to put that? Maybe, maybe over here. I don't know if a meeple needs to access that or not. Um, yeah, down here is fine. I'll put it right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So hacksaw or loophole is going to come and build that, and we can go ahead and start enriching. Thor thorium? What was it? Thorium? Thorium. Thorium 232. So we'll start to make that, uh, which I believe is the next level of power source. Um, let's go back to the build screen here. Uh, consumes thorium fuel to produce large amounts of regular and advanced power. And that's where that super alloy is. And we'll need 100 thorium. So we will start to produce that. I like that. And we're, you know, thinking ahead here. All right, let's go upstairs here and deny him. I'm looking for another guard because I'd like to have three guards guarding our station. See if we have some graphene yet. Nope, not yet. Uh, let's go to this. All right, so they're making... Oh, wow, we got plenty of cobalt now. Um, haven't made any super alloy yet, but we have made some thorium-232. Let's go down here and do a little trading. Buy all their titanium ore. Now, can I sell written? Oh man, 134 enriched thorium 232. Still haven't seen anyone selling wood yet either. So let's go ahead and sell our biomass. And then I think that will be. Yeah, we'll buy the carbon off them. All right, that should be good there. All right, so we'll let them get back to work. Hopefully, our. Um, our refiners get down here and make the rest of that. They're making some. They've made one chunk of it so far. I'd like to see them make uh, like 10 graphene so we can go ahead and attach or power up this last gun. So let's go here and I think it might let me drag the rest of it. No. Okay. Well, I guess, uh, guess not. Um, okay. Why that is working. I wanted to turn this fifth floor this new area into a medical bay. So it, let's go ahead and plop down some medical beds here. And we'll go one, two, 
three. Oh, here we go. A new guard. I definitely want to accept him. And four. And then let's also go ahead and put down the, oops. Modules, where is it at? Here we go, the medical supply cabinet. So let's put that there. And now we have a uh, little medical area. We got four beds. We can always add more beds if we need to. But this is a nice little start there. So that is done. I'm not gonna make it fancy or anything. You know what, let's put a plant down. I will make it fancy. Furniture, and let's grab the, ooh, we're gonna need two more biomass for these. All right, so I we'll have to come back and put the plant in in a few minutes. Let's see if we're ready to play with this. Nope. I really just want to install these last four or five bits while we're waiting. All right, let's go ahead and ships, and we're going to go to the finch, our trusty finch launch. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and send it out here to scout that planet. I think having three of the four guns online, we can survive. We've got three guards. I need to assign one to the last bedroom. Where was the empty bedroom at? Here we go. Comfortable assigned quarters and swordfish. There you go. You now have your own bedroom, my friend. Let's see what else swordfish has. He's 13 on guard and everything else is threes. Okay on doctor and a little bit of chef, I guess, technically. Uh, but he is now our 22nd meeple so our station is getting very 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 big okay five graphene we're going to deny him and there we go so they should go ahead and attach or power up that last gun any second now and who's that here hacksaw is doing that for us let's see what lokov initiative has to trade and we will buy their seven titanium oops i think we bought their cobalt but that's fine and then we will go ahead and also buy uh, their lavish meals and their fine meals. And then let's sell them a little bit of fruit and some vegetables there. We'll buy off their fish and then sell them the last of our biomass. Okay, we uh, the finch has made it to that planet. Home is where the heart breaks. Now, if you remember, in the last episode or the episode before that, Marimba might have come to the uneasy conclusion that the pirates that we've been running into are our ancestors. So let's see if we answer that question here. Captain, I just found our ancestors' homeworld. Irmos A-D? Yeah, Irmos A-D, without a doubt. Well, don't keep us waiting, Marimba. Uh, no, sir, it's just the planet is utterly destroyed. I, um, well... I'm still measuring it, but there was an incredible impact event of some kind. You can see the crater from space. It's gigantic. It's like a couple hundred kilometers across at the widest. I mean, this is an extinction level event written plain on the side of an entire planet. How can we be sure Emos A-D is the homeworld? You can see the ruins of all of them. Everything with a thousand kilometers of the impact was completely vaporized, but much further out you can still see it. This was a populated planet once, clear as day even from orbit. I can't believe this is it. I know, sir. It's worse in person. Is there anything left at all? On the planet's surface, there are ruins of their cities. The further you get away from the impact site, but they're in pieces, Captain. Nothing could have survived this. There are satellites still in orbit, and hey, wait, one, Captain. Sir, I've got an energy signature in orbit here. Big ones. What are they, Marimba? I don't know, sir. It looks like some kind of orbital station, maybe. It's weird. There are all these chunks of scrap metal stuff hanging off the exterior. I can see. Wait, hold on. Some kind of light just came on. It's getting brighter. Ah, audio cuts. No. Sir, there was just a violent energy discharge in orbit, and the finch is maneuvering wirely to the finch. Get out of there, pilot. Sir, uh, I'm running, but I'm hurt. There's a uh, shot some kind of energy weapon at me, and turn... Oh, burn me through the cockpit glass. Get home, Marimba. I can't, sir. Those things hanging off the outside were ships. A few of them broke off or are in pursuit. I gotta lose them. Can't bring them back to the station, sir. Pilot, you get your transmission cut. Feather, locate that ship for me. Marimba took off into a debris field, and we lost contact with the finch when it went into it, sir. Three identified drive signatures followed it, and, sir, I have some kind of signal originating from the original station orbiting Irmos A-D. What is it? I don't know, sir. Something in the comms frequency band. 
Can we make any sense of it? This is getting a little intense, guys. I have the station computer trying to solve it. Keep looking for the finch on the sensors in the meantime. Uh, okay, so a lot just happened there. Um, sounds like the finch ran into some trouble. I'm glad we got our guns up and ready. Uh, okay, and he's already back. Captain, this is the finch. Come in. Marimba, where are you? I'm coming into the dock right now, sir. I lost him in the debris field. Saw one of them smash into the wreckage and vent atmosphere. Good riddance. Not to be too forward, sir, but I deserve a raise. Ha, you deserve a smack for cutting comms. I couldn't lead him back, sir. Look, you can chew me out in person in just a minute, Cap. In the meantime, sir, could you come and get me out of the ship when I latch up? I might need to have a visit with the doctor. Well, good thing we built our little med bay up there. Uh, dock up, Marimba. I'll just charge you from the ship so you can get some medical care. And what's our objective here? Wait for your officer's report. All right, so Marimba should be docking here any second. Uh, let's make sure we have someone assigned as a doctor. I think, is it Kiwi that's got some decent doctoring? No, it's one of our um, refinery gentlemen. Let's see. Um, do, do, do. Who, oh, who? Cushion? Trout, maybe? Toothbud, do you have any doctor on you? Someone's got to have some decent doctoring. I will find in a second. All right, so Feather is back. The station computer solved the format of the transmission from the orbital station, Captain. Well, let's have it on screen. Um, a bunch of alien talk. Transmission ends. Well, that was informative. I'll send it to the science wing and see if they can puzzle out any of what is being said. Yeah, okay, at least it sounded pretty aggressive. That it did, sir. I don't think they like visitors. That much is apparent. Sir, we had a look at the scan data from the finch captured of the orbital station at the homeworld. Anything interesting? All right, so we need to probably re raid the hostile station, orbiting the homeworld. Okay, I like it. I like it indeed. So we probably want to build a bigger ship, and that was kind of my plans with the, the dock here is to build the albatross. But let's get Marimba out. Uh, we don't need him. So Marimba is out, and let's go and make sure... He did get uh, some scratches on his cheek. We need to assign someone to doctor him up. So let's find our doctor here. Um, I know someone's got some doctoring. It's just a matter of who. And for the life of me, I can't remember who it was. Um, nope. 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 Loophole, did you have some doctoring? Okay, Loophole, I think I'm going to assign you a doctor. Or to be the doctor. All right. And, yep, he switched over. So hopefully Marimba works his way up and can get himself healed. We do need to build another bedroom, so let's go ahead and plop down a nice heavy bed. And we'll put that right there, and that'll get built, and then we can assign Marimba to that. So hopefully he works his way up to one of these medical beds. Where is he at? Is he still down here? He's not there anymore. You guys see Marimba anywhere? Uh, available and let's just go ahead and assign marimba to that for now and let's do a little trading buy that carbon buy some lavish meals and then we will sell them some of our biomass all right uh let's go check the meeple screen see if he got healed up yet okay he got healed up so that is good that's the important thing all right so we need to raid the space station here uh, it's got a crew of eight. So let's go ahead and construct a ship. And we will build the Pelican. And so it has a crew of five, cargo of 2,500, fuel efficiency one. Uh, let's look at the Albatross. This is a trade ship. It can carry 10 fuel, quite a bit of fuel. Fuel efficiency of 1.2. What does it require? 100 electronics. Okay, do we want to build a pelican or do we want to build the albatross? I'm thinking we go ahead and just build the albatross. Um, so let's go ahead and up our electronics minimum. Electronics, and we're going to jump that to 100 minimum so they can start to make those. And let's see what Pickle and Pickaxe has to sell. Where's their electronics at? Uh, they only got five. We'll buy them, I guess five less we got to make we'll sell them some of that and then we'll buy those lavish meals off of them 
Diamonds are fairly cheap. Let's go ahead and buy the diamonds. Thorium's coming along nicely. We're at 86 thorium, but we'll hang on to that for a little bit. Sell them a little bit of aluminum. Sell them a little bit of iron ore. All right, so I think we hang off on that. Let's make sure our miners here have plenty still marked to mine, and they do. Um, just to be safe, we'll go ahead and click on that. So now we need to get ourselves about 50, elect 50 more electronics, and we already got 63. So they're going to start using that silicone we got. And I think we got plenty of silicone, yep. So they'll start making us more electronics, and then we'll build ourselves another ship. And then we'll get Marimba and our guards on it, and they will go raid that station for us. That's The squids are still around. They um, haven't done anything. They just sit there and inflate and deflate, so whatever. Let me know if there's any other games you're interested in me playing um, down in the comments below. We, I don't know how much more we have for Meeple Station. I know we're in Act 3, um, so we're, we're cruising right along, and obviously I would definitely want to finish it, getting some good feedbacks from some of you guys. Uh, it seems like I'm one of the very few people on YouTube that's actually doing a campaign, campaign playthrough, so that uh, I like. It's in my little niche here. The next game, I got, I don't know, a couple ideas. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever played any of the, like, Wars of Ancient Greece games. I might check some of those out um, and just uh, we'll try an episode or two and see how it goes. Uh, I also want to buy a new computer, more of a gaming rig. I am playing somewhat on a potato of a computer. It's not the greatest, but, you know, if I could get something a little bit better, I could play some of the newer, higher-end games for you guys, and I think we would all enjoy that indeed. So let's check in on our production, 84 electronics, so we are cruising right along on that. Any second now, we will have enough. Let's see, no trade ship, oh, it just left. It's going to buy off whatever it had, but I guess not. No one up in Medical Bay, that's always a good sign. Meteor shower income, the, man, these meteors are just pummeling us day in and day out. Good thing we got these two shield generators. I was kind of hoping the, the turrets would shoot at the meteors, but I guess not. So that's okay. Marimba is the first time he's been off the finch in a while. I wonder, should we should we dismantle the finch? I mean, it's pretty small, and if we build... If we build a... If we build an albatross... I don't, I don't know. Do we build the albatross? This crew for 10... Cargo, 5,000. I, th I think we built the albatross, yeah. I don't know. Guess we uh, should just go ahead and do it and never look back. Let's go electronics, three. Okay, so we've got plenty of electronics now. Sell them our biomass, get rid of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and build it. And construct ship, albatross, construct. All right, so hacksaw and or loophole will get out here and start building that ship for us. What I think we'll do is we'll build this, tear down the finch, and then when we finish researching the condor, which an enormous vessel used for long-range mining operations and transporting a mass amount of cargo, we'll probably build an albatross and a condor, get rid of the finch. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe we put in another ship up here somewhere, and we can like build a docking arm off this um, and get uh, a third ship. I mean, who knows? So it looks like the albatross is just about done, and it is okay. So let's go ahead and assign some people. We're going to put Marimba in there, and we're going to put Swordfish in there, and we're going to put Mr. Guard in there, who is a new person we picked up, and the stranger in there. So that will be four, and let's give them some meals just in case. Ten, oops, not a hundred meals. Um... We got any guard? Nope. Deny. Let's uh, let's give him 20 meals. So we got Mr. Guard, Mr. Stranger, Marimba, and we are waiting on Swordfish. Let's, because uh, it said there was eight people there, right? So that's three of our guards. Let's just check and see if anyone else has over 10 on guard. I feel like there's at least one more of our meeples that was. Let's see if we can find them. I feel like it might be, I feel like it might be Vacuum. Poisonberry. Yep, okay, so let's go ahead and assign Vacuum as a guard. And... Do, do, do. 
that's probably going to be about it. Oh, no, we can take Halibut as well. All right, Halibut. So let's get Halibut and um, vacuum on the ship. And Halibut. Okay, so that's going to give us quite a few guards. And then once they are all on the ship, we will send them out to raid. Looks like Halibut needs to use the bathroom one last time. Hopefully he starts to work his way towards the ship here any second. He fell from the meteor impact. That's kind of embarrassing. And there he goes. And he's on the ship. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five guards. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's go ahead and launch, and then let's go ahead and raid this station. I have never raided a station. <clears throat> a clash amidst the stars. Tooth one station. This is the albatross. Go ahead, the albatross. We're casting off and setting course for the orbiting orbital facility. Vacuum suits are fitted and laser optics are polished. I'm taking the approach that the science wing figured out from the scan data. It said it would keep us out of the facility's defenses, firing arcs as much as possible. Yes, good. We approve their assessment. Getting scans of that facility was a gift. You can say that again, Captain. We're going to set approach, bottle our heat vents, kill all power, and just coast in dead as night. Should fool the scanners. Well, it probably fools ours at least. Hopefully no one looks out a window over there. Well, we'll call once it's all set and done. Radio silence till then. Wish us luck, Captain Toothbud. Luck be with you. The albatross fly safe. All right. So off they go. And now we just have to wait for the raid to finish. As another trade ship rolls in, engineer and doctor, eh, we're going to deny that one. Let's see what they have to trade. Still no one with wood. I just want to buy some wood here, guys. Buy their lavish meals. We can sell them some fruit. Let's go ahead and sell them our biomass. Uh, what else could we buy off of them? Do, do, do. Probably want to buy some electronics here soon. We can buy those. Buy those advanced electronics. Diamonds, eh, kind of expensive. Lavish meal I already bought. Okay. Um... I guess uh, we'll buy it. No. Yeah. Okay. That is it. We'll buy the graphene and be done. Now, hopefully no one lands or, you know, they do that sneak attack again. Um, but I would think having four laser turrets would protect us from a sneak attack and not let them uh, get in our airlocks here. So we will we'll see here in a minute. Let's see how the albatross is raiding. And it is done. Tooth one, it's done. Situation port, remember? We slipped in like ghosts, sir. Worked like a charm. That's good to hear. I parked under their docking collar and the boarding team went extravehicular and coasted back over the dock, over to the dock. Team figured out how to fool the outer collar door into thinking a ship had attached and entered the airlock and cycled it from within as normal. Go on, Marimba. Well, sir, I was just kind of sitting here <laughs> pooping myself a little the whole time, but the boarding team report success. They were able to inflict several casualties and exfiltrate before the hostiles could mount a coherent response. I'm reading a significant decrease in life signs. Few more like that. The facility will be ours, sir. That's brilliant, Marimba. Fantastic work. Thank you, sir. I'll pass it along to the boarding team. You might need to release some of the guards from the ship roster to get some medical treatment when we pull in, sir. All right, come on home for now, and we'll get everyone sorted, Marimba. In route, Captain. Well, it seems like we're about getting ready to finish that station. Let's go see what it says here. All right, so it was originally eight, and now there is five. So, yeah, two more raids, and it should be ours. Um, so thank you so, so much for joining me today. We uh, went ahead and continued pimping out our bedrooms, finished those up. We got our laser turrets installed and hooked up to our power. We built ourselves a little med bay, and we raided our um, potential ancestors. Uh, we'll have to wait and see and keep playing Meeple Station to find out if they truly are our original ancestors. We're going to deny that there. So please don't forget to like the video. Comment down below on, um, again, audio quality, video quality, commentary quality, anything like that and what you think of Maple Station, and if you have any other ideas for games I should play. And don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and we'll see you in the next Meeple Station video.